Hey everyone, I'm Kev and welcome to this week's Draw Along. This week on the Nerd Herd Comic Book Club, the boys reviewed Middle West Volume 2, written by Scotty Young and drawn by Jorge Corona. Although Scotty Young wrote that comic, today we're going to be looking more at his artwork and how to draw in his style. Before we do though, let's take a quick look at who Scotty Young is. Scotty Young is a comic book artist, children's book illustrator and a writer. When it comes to Scotty Young's drawing style, he is wonderfully cartoony. His loose art style is very distinctive, making his books and covers stand out on the shelves. His characters are perfectly exaggerated to help get across their personalities, which is a great skill to have for any cartoonist. Well known for his works such as I Hate Fairyland and the Eisner Award winning The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, most people will know him for his fun baby variant covers he has illustrated for Marvel Comics. These baby variants take established Marvel characters and turn them into chibis. So before we start today's draw along, first of all, let's take a look at what a chibi is. So, a chibi is a stylized character drawing that originates from Japan. Although Scott Young sometimes draws in the chibi style, with large heads and small bodies, um, usually chibis are only like two heads tall, they have a giant head and a small body. His style is still distinctively his own and looks more like a western cartoon than a uh, rather than a cute Japanese style. So without further ado, get your pencil and paper and let's get drawing. Okay then, so the first character we're gonna Scotty Youngify is Batman. He Predominantly works with Marvel, I believe. So, just we're going to try draw draw some DC characters. So, we've got a picture image of Batman here from the uh, DCAU. So, as you can see, you start off with a big circle for the head, and then I'm going to do the. I'm just going to copy the pose in the picture that uh, Bruce Tim or one of the animators has drawn here. Make the limbs a little pudgy, as he kind of makes the limbs sort of uh, pudgy as well and again always start off with guidelines as well and now I'm going to start exaggerating certain things so big eyes on him um, when it comes to the face the, the grimace the the I haven't got to that bit yet but when I do that I'm gonna change like his mouth is gonna be it's gonna be exaggerated the cape is exaggerated as well, so um, as he is small, the cape I've made longer to add to the effect. Now I'm just going to go in inking. Scott Young uses kind of like a scratchy. Um, if you look at his line art, it's kind of it's very loose, very scratchy looking, um, sketchy, which which is a fun style and is great. For drawing in this sort of style as well, as it adds a lot of um, lot of movement to your work as well. Going just adding in the uh, dark areas. Oh, and there we go. I messed up. Before I move on to the coloring stage. So I chose Batman because Batman's kind of a fun character to draw in this style. Especially that big cape that looks like it's far too big for him. It looks more fun. Right, there you go. There's the finished image of um, the DCAU Batman drawn in Scotty Young style. Let's move on to our next character, Wonder Woman. Okay, again, we're going to use a Bruce Tim drawing as reference and go in with the head, start drawing the body, just laying out the shape of the character for the skeleton. When drawing the body, keep the body round as well uh, with, with your chibis. Um, round figures um, make us think of cuteness. That's a thing called shape theory. And if we see some a character that's round, we, we tend to think they're cute. 
just a point about the hair, which I'm about to draw now. When uh, Scott Young draws hair, he kind of draws it very wavy, very curly. There's always little curls at the end, which I quite like um, to do. It's quite fun to do. And it adds a bit more character to your character. A little bit like they're a bit more messy. Um, especially if it's kind of like a child character. It's fun to have them as more uh, messy looking than uh, put together like Wonder Woman usually looks like. Alright, I'm going to be quiet now for a few minutes and just speed this up a little bit to get to the end. And there we have it, our finished version of Wonder Woman, drawn in the style of Scotty Young. As you can see, she's a bit more messy, her hair's a bit more wild, and a lot more cartoony than our um, reference picture, even though that's a cartoon. Okay, that's today's Draw Along. If you've drawn along... Please share your drawings with me at Kev's Draw Along on Instagram or at the Nerd Herd Comic Book Club on Instagram. Also, have a go at drawing uh, other characters in the style of Scotty Young. It's a really fun style to draw in and especially if you're not confident with drawing, drawing cartoons is a great way to start to begin to draw, um, to draw in general. Um, be sure to like share and subscribe and check out all the other wonderful shows on the nerd herd channel till next week keep drawing bye bye <laughs>